Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel Electrical Technology and Industrial Practice. So today you can see that our topic is substation design. It is the sixth part of the substation design video and in this video we will be discussing about the type of substations based on its application. Okay, so let's play the intro and start the video. Okay, so in the part two, second part of this series, we have discussed that the substation classification based on its location, that is outdoor substation or indoor substation or hybrid type substation. Okay, now in this video, we will be discussing substation as per its application. So as you can see, I have listed that down 10 type of substation. So based on the application, substations can be classified uh, in the following 10 categories in general. Okay. So there is generating station which is the main substation where the power is generated and it is a step up type transport uh, substation okay so in this type of substation the voltage level is stepped up generally it is stepped up from 21 kV to 400 kV okay then there is receiving substation this receiving substation could be a power transmission system receiving substation or it can be a receiving substation of a industrial plant okay so in case of a power transmission or distribution the receiving substation can be there or if it is taking an industrial plant is supposed taking power from a supply authority a grid so there there will be also a receiving substation main receiving substation or mrss then there comes the distribution substation so these three substations are generally part of the transmission and distribution system but receiving substation and distribution substations are often used in industrial plant area also plant also okay then there is factory or industry substation it is basically the substation installed inside a, an industrial par premises which is also which can be also uh, categorized into receiving substation or distribution substation okay then there is ac to dc conversion substation now what is this type of substation this is basically required in aluminium plant electrochemical industry etc where the converters and rectifiers are used okay so in aluminium or uh, electro mechanical electrochemical industry the ac power is needed to convert into dc for pot system potentio uh, potentiometer where the aluminiums are melted okay so there the, the dc substation is re required because dc power since it is not alternating in nature it will generate better heating okay as there is no current zero so the ac is converted into dc and this converter type transformer using converter type transformer and rectifier the dc uh, substations are used for feeding the uh, aluminium plant uh, uh, aluminium melting area okay so this is a special type of transfer uh, substation okay then there comes tra traction substation so as you can understand that this is used for railway system it is generally single phase type uh, substation and 25 kb substations or it is uh, 1500 volt or 750 volt dc substation okay then there comes hvdc substation you all know that for very high voltage uh, 800 kb 1200 kb the power is transmitted through dc supply instead of ac because of it has some advantages so that is another kind of substation then there comes arc furnace substation so where there is arc furnace arc furnace is also something which has low voltage but high current to generate more heat so there also you need to uh, bring the power in a high voltage and then you need to uh, drop the voltage reduce the voltage to increase the current for the same amount of power so this is arc furnace substation then there comes substations for load center it is very common type of uh, substation which is installed near near the lo load centers where the bulk loads are there suppose you have a uh, set of pump house and some process units and you need to supply the power for those area so there uh, at the load center say here there is a pump house okay there are several pumps there are some uh, processes in this uh, process are there running here. Uh, here here are also a set of process are running okay so you so so these will be called your load centers where the loads are present okay so at this location you may need to install the load center substation okay so you are installing a substation it may you may call it as a load center substation so this can be also categorized in the distribution substation also this is also one kind of distribution substation okay 
so then there comes the switching substation it is without transformer so what is the purpose of switching trans uh, substation it is basically uh, transmit the power or multiplies the power feeders suppose you are getting uh, two number of 220 kv power from a nearby power plant and you need to uh, connect this 220 kv with some other other plant so what will you do you will keep it uh, you will take the power in one substation and from there you will multiply the feeder so there will be a 220 kv switch yard or 220 kv gis which will have two incomers and say several outgoings 10 uh, 5 or 10 number of outgoing which will be connected to other substation or other power plants okay suppose there is one power plant a tra transformer is uh, supplying power and uh, two gen generators and th this is uh, so the uh, say our 220 kv uh, switch yard bus and from there there are two transmission lines are going okay similarly uh, the other other power plants operator also giving two transmission line here also another power plant operators are giving two transmission line so how i will connect those things okay so here i will have to create a switching substation say i am creating one switching substation where this is also coming connected this is being connected and this is is be also being connected so here you can see that my there is no transformer so th this will also form a substation okay because here you need to install uh, either that an outdoor switch yard or a gis okay so there will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of bay its incoming and outgoing could not be defined properly because every power is incoming every power is outgoing so now say from here i am connecting to a another 400 kv uh, substation so this 220 kv uh, supply i am taking it to uh, through a transmission line i am taking it to other other area and there with a auto transformer or interconnecting transformer i am connecting with the uh, 400 kv grid system okay so this becomes a interconnecting substation okay this is the interconnecting transformer or ict generally it is a auto transformer type uh, auto transformer okay so this is uh, this can be classified as a switching substation where only the switching is happening see i am i have kept the tra transformer outside of the this substation location so so this substation this our uh, ict is coming under a separate substation okay so these are the several type of substations based on its application how they are installed in at site and what are the, what purpose they are serving okay so based on this uh, the, the substation based on the application the substation can be classified in the following manner so remember the types of substation okay i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get latest notifications of our video okay i will be coming back with another topic uh, very shortly thank you very much for watching this video